Hey guys, how are you? You came so early that I haven't even erased the board. It's very, uh, it's very interesting. So yesterday we were uh, studying different kind of nouns and pronouns. So today, grammar, today is um, Thursday. I think that is 24th, if I'm not incorrect. 24th, yes, today is 24th. Today is Thursday, 24th. Oh no, sorry, Thursday, September 24th, 2020. So today we are going to do personal pronouns. Okay, so yesterday we were reading the multiple kinds of sentences, the, sorry, the multiple kinds of um, pronouns that we have. We have uh, pronouns, we have subject pronouns that substitute a subject, we have object pronouns that can substitute the object in the sentence, we have possessive pronouns that tell you who is the owner of something, and then at the end we have intensive pronouns, but I told you that they're not very common to use in the regular English, so we're not really going to use them. Don't tell anybody. Okay. So uh, we are going to do the exercise for today, complete it, complete it, okay? So we have in there, complete each of the following sentences, complete each of the following sentences. Um, with an intensive pronoun with I know with an intensive pronoun no I don't like those because the problem is that even if I like the books and stuff the and I have been trying to speak English because I'm not gonna say that I'm perfect at speaking English and maybe a lot of people is gonna be offended by this sorry my hair but um in all the years that I have been speaking English, that I would say that it's approximately 13 years, I have never, ever used anything by myself. Myself is the one thing that I use, but I say, I've been working by myself, that's the only one. But herself, or his himself and that stuff, we don't use that stuff. So we are going to do a different exercise for today, using the other ones that we already know, okay? So I'm gonna write, like a couple of sentences in there and you have to rewrite them substituting um, the 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 subject with something else for an example so we're gonna write in there re sorry rewrite the sentence so forget about Forget about the exercise, the, the exercise completed in page, uh, in page 10. We're not going to use that. We're trying to speak regular English. But don't tell anybody and people on YouTube, I hope you're not offended. Sorry. Okay. So rewrite the sentences using different pronouns. Okay. So, for an example, I'm going to underline what you will change. For an example, I can write um, Jessica. We're going to use the same sentences in a different in a different technique. Jessica has been baking all day. So what we are going to change in here is Jessica. Now, how can I change it? How can I substitute this for another pronoun? Well, I could say she has been, she, sorry. She has been baking all day. 
So this is something that would be kind of like your exam. It would be something where you have to apply um, the, the ruling there. You have to change it to make it smaller. Let's make another example, but this time you're gonna do it by yourself. My mother, Ruth, lives in Santa Lucia. She has no my mother has lived in the same house in Santa Lucia for a long time. Okay, so what are we gonna substitute in this case of, of the sentence? My mother Ruth, it's okay, one time. Lives in Santa Lucia, okay, one time. But then there's redundance. My mother again, and then Santa Lucia again. So what can I write? My mother Ruth lives in Santa Lucia. When we rewrite in the sentence, Ruth. My mother Ruth lives in Santa Lucia, comma. Now, instead of my mother, what can I write? Has lived in the same house in what can i write to substitute santa lucia for a long time sorry in and then what can i write instead of santa lucia for a long time so this is what we will do well, i'm gonna make one more for you remember check it because this is not in your notebook this should be copied from the board okay now let's make one more Remember that if you didn't see it, you can always copy from the, uh, you can always stop the video and remake it, okay? One more. Graciela and Benjamin go to El Picacho all the time Graciela Benjamin and me like to stay on till the sunset in El Picacho. Now, what can you do in there? You have to substitute the different words that are repeated more than once for an example. Graciela and Benjamin, so I'm going to substitute this and this and this and this. So what can I write instead of those? Let's see what can I write. Instead of Graciela and Benjamin, there is a word. Go to el P oh, to el go to, yeah, I'm going to substitute it. I'm going to substitute this too go to how can i substitute the name of a thing all the time period and then there's another word for graciela benjamin and me remember if the word includes you there's a different name 
um, like to stay until the sunset until the sunset in in this case we should not say in it because we are being we are talking a little different to go oh well, I mean we can use both there's a word that ends with th that we can use th something something or we can use it in this one so it depends on the way that you understood it but this is the way that you want to work it today okay so those are for today and then Okay, we are going to jump one page. We are going to jump from page 11, 10 to 12, but we're gonna do that tomorrow. So for today, this is it, okay? Relax, take your time, be free, finish your exercise. Remember that you have to be rewinding because this is not on the board. So please pay attention to what's written in here. Rewind if you have to rewind finish your page I'm giving you enough time this video is only 12 minutes so you have 28 minutes to finish you have more than enough time to finish everything so I hope that you understood everything it's a very very easy exercise I gave you most of the answers and I hope that you can have a lot of success um, I'll see you uh, Friday okay see you guys bye